Done. And I'm Jim Sack, and thank you for joining us. The shooting death of a pit bull in suburban Lake Worth has residents of a neighborhood choosing up sides tonight. It's a story we broke on WPTV.com. News Channel 5's Jesse Chavez tells us there's debate raging over whether this was the case of a dangerous dog or a trigger-happy homeowner. The owner of Lucky the Dog appeared distraught as he left with the pit bull's remains in the back of his pickup truck. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's like, it's done. Neighbors say Lucky got loose from this home a few blocks south of where he was shot. You can see the toppled fence along the side of the property where Lucky apparently broke free. We've all got dogs, so this is why it's so heartbreaking to us that someone would do this. Roma Craven says Lucky was harmless. She saw him wandering up the street after he got loose from his chain. So she put him in her garage while she worked with neighbors to find the owner. But she let him out again, and Lucky approached this home where he was shot. Remember, baby by a man who lives here. Yeah, I'm trying to get your side of the story. We could not get a response from JR on camera, but the shooter told investigators he felt threatened by Lucky, who approached his kids while they stood in front of the house. After Lucky was shot in front of those vehicles, he wandered back down the street and continued that way until he collapsed on the grass near that mailbox. PBSO investigators and animal control are not taking action to file charges at this point. We got the statements from the, of the father who said he felt threatened. There is also another smaller dog that lived at the house who, was, who also has injuries. Neighbors wonder if Lucky's owner was taking proper steps to keep him home, saying he has escaped several times. This is definitely going to be one of those things that hits neighbor against neighbor. We're upset. We're all animal lovers. Jesse Chavez, WPTV News Channel 5.